This is literally how strong the wind is right now in Paris. It's super creepy. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So even though the wind is super strong, I'm not sure if you can hear it, but um, we're going to attempt to do this video. I really need to do this video right now, so wind, please stop. Please. No. I put like the like that furry thing on the microphone so I hope that the audio is a little bit better even though the wind is really strong. Let's hope that it will stop. As you can see from the title, this video is going to about stationery shops in Paris. I just really wanted to film the process of me trying to find some cool stationery. Actually, originally I planned to go to six uh, different stores but I think one of them was not even open. One of them wasn't open and the other one I just wasn't able to find. So. In this video, I'm going to show you guys four different stationery stores in Paris. So yeah, I hope you'll enjoy it. If you're into stationery, if you're into cute home decor, then this video is for you. I hope you will enjoy it. Before we start, please just don't forget to make sure to subscribe to this channel if you're not subscribed yet. And like this video if you like it. So yeah, thank you. Let's start the video. <laughs> I think I will just have to speak a little bit louder because um, yeah, this wind doesn't seem to stop. So. I'm going to scream then I don't care. Okay, so the first store that I went to is called Muji. Muji, 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 yes, Muji. This one is at Forum Les Halles at Châtelet, so it's really accessible for everybody. This was probably the cheapest one of all of the stationery stores that I went to. So if you're on a budget, I would definitely recommend you to go there because it's the cheapest one of all of these four. I went to this one first because I've known this one before from when I was in Asia. It is a Japanese store, so so it is a really minimalistic with a lot of notebooks and stationery supplies, very clean and neat designs. They also have a lot of interior design items if you're into that. They have a lot of clocks, even snacks, the vanilla scented candle best one on the market seriously so good if you're into scented candles definitely go to muji they have so many it's amazing i think i'm going to rate all of them i would rate this at um i think a seven out of ten i like that it was really minimalistic and they had a lot of things for organizing a lot of really useful stuff so i think it was really good a lot of interior and design stuff i think i'm more into like colors and stuff like that when it comes to stationery so this is why i I would rate it as a 7 out of 10 but yeah I really liked it and it was really affordable so I definitely recommend it. Okay so the next one that I went to is at BHV Mache which is supposed to be like the French version of Harold's in London. It has a lot of various like kitchen stuff, books and stationery supplies. The stationery is actually located on the second floor just so you know. This one was my favorite of all of the stores that I went to. The prices were unfortunately a little bit Hi, I remember I picked up like a pencil case and then looked at the price and it was like 200 euros. What? So I was like, no. Okay. <laughs> Never mind, my mind. And I just kindly put it back <laughs> to its place where it belongs. <laughs> From what I understood, these are designer items, so this is why they're so expensive. And I understand and I respect that, but I just find it a little bit scandalous. Is that right? to buy a pencil case for 200 euros. So yeah, they were really pretty though. So I think even if you're not going to buy anything, but you like home decor and stationery, go there because it's so inspiring to see all of these designs. Like I felt really inspired even though I didn't buy anything. My sister bought some stuff. I don't know what she bought. She always buys something. Even if you're not gonna buy anything, just go there and look around because it's really inspiring. I really like the atmosphere there. And they had so many beautiful designer stuff, notebooks, planners, pens, pencil cases, but really like the most beautiful design. So yeah, definitely check it out. I really liked it there. So I will probably go back at some point. Damn, when I'm going to be super rich. <laughs> I'm gonna go back. I would rate it an 8.5 out of 10 because I really like the designs. I really like the atmosphere of the store. It's huge, it's really like stationary heaven but it was just really expensive so yeah not really the affordable category i mean not everything you can find stuff there that are affordable you can find some stuff in there that are not that expensive like the stickers <laughs> <laughs> most of the items are quite expensive but i still really liked it 
Okay, so the next store that I went to is called Merci. It's in the Le Marais area again. One of the coolest areas in Paris. It's one of my favorite areas. I say this all the time. I just really like the atmosphere of this like neighborhood of Paris. It's really like artsy, kind of hippie, but very like trendy kind of area. So what can you get here? They sell a lot of clothing, home decor. Okay, so from what I understood from this place is that it is a cafe and a clothing store that is also a stationery and a home decor store. I didn't really understand the concept but it was still really cool. If you go in you will first see a cafe store with like a lot of books and then when you walk in you have to walk through kind of like a garden thingy and then you will find a clothing store and then you will have to go up to the second floor and then you will have to go up to the first floor and then you will find the kind of like a home decor store and you will find at like the back of the home decor store like a small space for the stationery there are not really that many stationery there but still I really like that atmosphere of the whole store. I really like their clothes and I also really like their home decor stuff but it is very expensive again unfortunately. Buy everything that is good in life is expensive. I feel the same way about this like the second one. Even if you're not gonna buy anything just go and look around because it's really inspiring and you can still go just for a cafe and then a cafe a coffee and then just like look around. I still really liked it even though I didn't end up buying anything because everything was so expensive. Hey, what the heck? Should I be worried? <laughs> so I would rate it probably like like a set like an 8 out of 10 I think or maybe like a 7 7.5 there wasn't that many things to see there I mean there wasn't that many stationery to see there but it was still really cool and still really artsy and I do like the cafe part of it I think it's a really cool store also the area that is located and is really cool so Definitely check it out. Okay, and the last one that I went to is called Papier Tigre. It's also in the Le Marais area. So if you're going to the previous one, you might as well just go to this one because they're really close to each other. This one is more of like a workshop. They have a lot of graphic designer stuff, some planners, some notebooks, some pencil stuff. What is pencil stuff? Some pencil things for school or work. Um, I should stop having. <laughs> This one is actually a lot smaller than what I expected and they really don't have that many things but what they have is only for like stationary stuff so I would still recommend for you to check it out because what they have is still really cool but they just don't have that many things but they have a lot of like graphic design stuff like really colorful artsy stuff like planners, notebooks, pencil cases and like with very like colorful and abstract design designs so even though it's really small and it's more of like a workshop it's still really cool this one was probably the second cheapest one from these four it is quite affordable i would say i would rate this maybe like a 6.5 out of 10 is it mean to rate it a 6.5 because they had a lot of cool stuff but it was just really small but i did really like it so if you're already in the le Marais area just just check it out why not so yeah i think this is the end of this video i'm sorry if this video wasn't that long but i've been wanting to do this video for a long time because i love stationery i love home decor i love this just like small things that make your life better and i always take notes by hand so it always makes me really happy to look at my cute stationery when i'm at university like my cute notebooks my cute like pens and stuff like that so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching just again please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're not subscribed yet and like this video if you liked it if you have any ideas of what you would like me to make let me know in the comments and yeah i will see you soon. Bye!